Oh, shit. It's too late. Lord of Cinder Fallen. Well, at least... At least you made it. <laughs> it's like... I, I found the only one left standing. I couldn't save them, but at least they'll have beaten the boss and we got our souls. Like, they got... Well, I guess they'll have to go back to get their souls, but, like... We beat the boss, so... I guess I'll count that. <laughs> Ah. Hi. Well, yeah. I'm not good at this. <laughs> I'm really not good at this. Okay, anyway. So, yeah, you guys saw that. I mean, they won. The way it works in 3, apparently, is that if you beat a boss, as you die, like, if you trade blows fatally, you still win. So, I still successfully assisted that player. Welcome to they just need to run back to pick well. up their souls, then which is... I... I feel so terrible. Like, it's kind of amusing, but it also makes me feel like crap, because I'm oh, thinking, well, okay, so I kind of just... <laughs> I mean, I lived, at least! <laughs> One of us survived! <laughs> but it's like, I was kind of being a bit... a bit cowardly, I suppose. Oh well, it happens. I was kind of hoping they'd roll just enough so that they'd avoid that problem and then they wouldn't die. And they didn't. And they died. But they won. And they died. That's kind of funny. Kind of funny. I, was, I was not kicked out long enough that I could fire a couple bolts and manage to kill it. But it's like if I'd done it just a bit sooner, or I guess run up and tried to attack it more, stun it out, then they would have won cleanly. But yeah, I guess a win's a win. I don't know. Anyway. Back to the catacombs. Yeah, I'm still limbered up. Okay. But yeah, I just wanted to help someone out because I like doing that. And also... I, okay, a lot of it was... The Abyss Watches were such a pain in the butt that I felt like I just owed it to somebody, anybody, whoever was the next person to summon me that I successfully helped them beat the Abyss Watchers boss with. Like, it was that tough, you know? It just... Couldn't not help the next person who needed it. Or several people. Because I was finding that boss annoying. Oh, you... Seriously? <sighs> Play me for a fool, will ya? Unless I'm missing something. No, it looks like... Oh, appraisals don't necessarily mean they're rated good. They're just rated. So an appraisal might actually be a remarkably negative review. Ow. Okay, you're not going to be killed by the ball. Neither are you, apparently. I oh, know you are going to be killed by the ball, because it's going to be things your turn trip. There we go. Scatter your bones. Alright, so we know what's next. Apart from the block. I feel like I missed something. Like, there's an optional place that has divine something. Like, divine weapons. Like, divine coal or divine ember or something. In the same way that you had with Darker Garden. But, I don't know. It's weird. Oh. Wrong weapon. Oh, whoops. I wonder if I... You know what I think I need to do? I think I need to lure these enemies back here. And then use the ball to keep them more or less in check. Oh. Undead Bone Shard? Oh wait, did the ball die? The ball's gone, isn't it? It died and left me an undead bone shard. Somehow it died. That's weird. But then this one... Ow! 
As always, you know anything about the undead. They don't stay dead, which admittedly is a little hypocritical of me, but the skeletons in particular don't stay dead. I mean, neither do I, that's kind of the point, but yeah. I don't know how to deal with that stuff, unless I had divine weapons of some kind. I just can't... Unless it's that you have to kill them twice, because it looked like that first skeleton only respawned after I killed it. Okay, does it work like one, or does it work in a totally different way? Is it just kill them twice and it's done? Because the way it works in one is they respond infinitely until you kill the thing that was giving them the white eyes. Which was a necromancer in one. I think two had a similar mechanic. I can't remember exactly, though. Looks like any skeleton that has white eyes is going to come back. So, I don't know. It's just weird. Anyhow. Alright, so if we come down here to deal with this stuff. Get crushed! Splat. You're not gun yet. Okay, so how does this thing... Oh! Oh, maybe it only lasts as long as the guy with the, point, with the tricorn hat's alive. Or, well, animated. And then after that, it shatters. Alright, so my two options... Okay, I guess I have three options, technically. I have... Activate as few skeletons as possible, which apparently is still three. And then kill them twice. See if that helps. Ow, why am I locking on to anything? No, no, bad, bad. I hate this. I hate anything that follows. I mean, one of those is going to come back. The first one's going to come back. But let's see, does it have... No, both of them came back. No, this one. Okay, but it has no white eyes. So I just have to kill them twice. Okay, that explains the lack of divine weapons. Reanimation magics are nowhere near as strong as they used to be. Oh, no. No, that won't work, because that's not the weapon I wanted to have in my offhand slot. Quaff up. Ah, shoot, seriously? Okay, there's... Yeah, there's a place I can... Ah! Just die already for the first time, and then again for the second time afterwards. Though this time I just can throw media attacks on you, because... Screw it, why not? You're right there. Yep, its eyes are not white anymore, so... Okay, that's a relief. You don't need divine weapons, you don't need to kill any other skeletons, you just need to kill them twice. Wait, how many? I don't want to be this low in health. Maybe I should get that life ring. I have the money for it now. But I really want to get the next level. Okay, how much is this home? It doesn't, ow! Well, it doesn't matter if I get hit by it, but... Okay, so that one only needed to die once. Okay, good. We can approach this carefully. And we need to because there are a bunch of more advanced skeletons along here. Not to mention, I was finding a bunch of them. Didn't I find a bunch in here? Maybe not. I'm not going to disturb these bones any more than I have to. Oh, I see. It was the bones themselves. Okay, that's what I thought. The, some of the pots will blow up into the spirits. It's not that I was being thrown at. Actually, that means... 
I was being chased by one enemy throughout that entire a small area. Oh yeah, right, trap. Ah, there's the pressure plate, and I was getting all panicky. Alright, so you're... Oops, can't do that. Actually, I might as well ashen up, just to be sure. And get them away from the scale. Oh, get them to the trap. Ow! That worked exactly the opposite way I wanted it to work. I wanted them to be hit by the trap, not me. I thought it was in between the arrows. Uh, I should have looked. I'd rather not lose 7k souls like that. But now that I know how the area works and there's like just two deaths to kill them, I'm like, okay, that's fine. I can deal with that. Sort of. Maybe we should go back to 7 and 1, my Estus. Also, I need to burn the ended bone tree. I got a lot of stuff I need to do. I have business to attend to. Thank goodness this short path exists. That would be much harder if it didn't exist. Come on, where are you? Where are you? There you are. Yeah! Oh, wait. Nope. Alright. Wasn't sure if it was going to fall into the abyss or not. Did not want to have that happen to me, that's for sure. What are you going to do? That's what I thought. Alright. Oh, what? Oh, you don't. I thought you were going to fall to your death. Kick your bones. Ah, oh, that never gets old. Splat. Alright, cool. And anyway, now I have to get rid of this little skeleton here in order to get rid of the bone ball. Oh. Yep, one more pass in the bone ball and then smash. Eh, might as well. I want to be topped up. It feels so weird. I was embered for like a whole episode. And now I'm not. And it feels weird. Maybe I should ember up again. I noticed that if I... Like, one thing I've noticed is that... Oh, I, I don't want to use that. Oh, actually, no, I do want to use a claymore now I think about it. Because every heavy attack will actually disable these guys completely. Like, I don't really get to use heavy attacks without having to worry about the fact that they'll be knocked down. I don't want them to be knocked down. Unless I do want them to be knocked down, which I often do, but not always. Whoa! I mean, I guess they're ghosts, so it kind of makes sense, but what? And now you die for the first time, and then you'll get up, and you'll die for the second time, and I'll ash in the meantime. Alright, there we go, now you get up again, and we dance this dance one more time. Actually, I'm getting a lot of souls from killing these things. That's pretty good soul harming territory, all things considered. Yeah! Alright, you're down. That was easy enough. Oh, whoops. Please tell me that resets. It does not reset! Ah, oh, it does reset. Never mind. But I also know a safe way to go. Wow, 8,000 souls. Nice! I like that! I like that! Oh, yeah! Ow! Ow! Oh, I thought I'd backstab you. Oh, thank goodness for fast weapons. Wow, I thought I got a backstab. It's like, where is your back? Oh, wait, you had two lives. Never mind. Ah, I can't see. Ah, what the heck? I thought I hit you. Just die already, will you? Thank you. 
Ah, so now I have to build these things twice, too. At least I know these aren't the things that are giving the others life. That's one nice little bit of consolation, I suppose. Right. Are those white? No, those are not white. I got... I have to worry about that. That's the bonfire, isn't it? Oh, whoops. Ow. Walked right into that. Oh, you're one of those... Those things have swords? Shoot, I thought those didn't have swords. Oh, crap. I'm not going to deal with two of those at once. Actually, I probably don't. And it looks like they only have to die once. Yo, I'm over here. Oh, no, these ones have the fog ring or whatever it is that gives them invisibility when they're rolling. That's fine! Or, I can't remember what it's called. Ow! Darn your stupid shields. Ah, my stamina. At least I've only had, I haven't used much Estus. That's a nice thing here. Oh, there we go. All right, got through that. Another Titanite shard. Wow, this is. I think every enemy drops Titanite shards every single time you fight them. All right, all right. Let's see how this works. Large soul and unknown traveler. I'm doing for health. I'm doing okay for health. Get over here. They're like bone wheel skeletons almost. Well, if you're gonna design a bone wheel skeleton, that's probably one of the better ways of doing it. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. Oh really? That actually Aha! I got a critical attack! That's why you don't use shields against me, because I can critical you. Okay, let's go to Claymore so I can get the... Oh, what? Seriously? Oops, I thought I was too handy. Oh, yeah! Did not die. Hurt myself, but didn't die. Or got hurt, but didn't die. And another Titanite Shard, right? Yeah, I called it. All right. Getting a lot of Titanite Shards. I can upgrade my armor so much. I have been refraining from upgrading my armor because I didn't know what I wanted to... Shoot. All right, all right. I gotta be attentive. Anyway, armor. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, right. I was afraid of upgrading it because I did not... Is there a way around this? There is. It's tricky, but there is. What the heck? That doesn't sound good. But yeah, I'm, I've been wary of upgrading it because I don't know what armor I actually want. Another one of those. Alright, let's just see how this works. So it looks like it goes back a bit. Goes back a bit and then comes back out. I wonder where it's strange tricorn hat man. Or tricorn hat skeleton. Hey! Another large Titanite shard. I'd like to see that. Also, hey! It's a bonfire! Yeah! We made it! We made it to that bonfire that I saw earlier! We don't have to run back as much! In fact... No, 10,000... Actually, no, what? Ooh! You know what? You know what? You know what? Look at my faith value! It's 19! You know what that means? When you take into account the fact that I have a large soul of nameless... Or soul of nameless soldier, large soul of unknown traveler... We're getting Lightning Spear! Yeah! Finally! I get Lightning Spear! I'm so happy about that! I Man, I'm, happy, I'm happier than I was when I first got Lightning Spear, because now I can actually use it! It's awesome! It's a great way to end the episode, because I think after this level up and slight experimentation with the Lightning Spear, that's going to be the episode. And no, I'm not going to get the... Actually, no, oh, that was enough on its own. Nice. Probably put that in my storage box just so I don't accidentally use it. The soul, I'm speaking, of course, of the soul of the blood of the wolf. 
because yeah, I oh yeah, I want to burn one of these too. A bonfire level four, or whatever that means. Not sure what that refers to, but it does also mean I have an Estus Blast plus three. Not that it really matters for the amount of health I have. Welcome, host. I Welcome want lightning spear. That's my desire. Yeah. All right. Farewell, Ahmed. Now let's attune that bad boy and actually have a spell I'm going to use in combat. Because <laughs> I have not used force at all. I never really liked Force. If you're going to use Force, use Wrath of the Gods, if that exists. Also, while I'm here, while I don't really care myself, I might as well, for the sake of completeness, give you the Kate's oh, Pyromancy Tome. What? You know, I will, though, but if I... Oh, terrible. Or Karthus, I mean, but... Have a play. Wait, I got... Hang on. I mean, I don't really care too much about Pyromancy myself, but I did get a thing. Yeah, Karthus Pyromancy Tome. A pyromancy tome from Karthus containing pyromancy's crafter for battle. Give to the old master pyromancer to learn advanced pyromancies of the Great Swamp. Karthus pyromancies developed in isolation from other forms, explaining their divergent evolution. Which is interesting. Okay, so there's a pyromancer I haven't gotten, which kind of makes sense. I mean, I got the sorcery, I got the miracles, pyromancy's all I'm missing. Golden scroll. Get a golden scroll con chronicling the vast research of the Xanthus scholars. Like the infamous Jeremiah. Give to a sorcerer to learn the arts of Ulysseel. In the lost land of Ulysseel, the sorceries orchestrated light and were said to shine in golden hues. Really? Because, I mean, the Ulysseel sorceries I remember were things like Chameleon and pretty much the entirety of Hexes. But okay. Anyhow, I'll give that to the sorcerer. Actually, who, Gert, you got anything to oh, say? Oh, hell, and in one piece. You can keep up. <laughs> No, apparently not. Maybe I have to buy stuff. Like, lots of stuff. But I'm good for the stuff you sell, so... See ya. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, if you want to feed people, just ask. Alright, what do you got? On... Alright. Our lord, knowest thou of a youth named Amri? Met him once, yeah. He is hollow. And will join thee in wedlock. Uh, what? A fellow of mine guides him at this moment. When the time is ripe, thou mayst make thy salutations. What? For what lord taketh no spouse? I... Our lord, and he knoweth he a fool. Oh, I don't really feel that way about Anri. He seems nice, Till we meet, may the... but he's not... No, I... What? Why would I marry anybody in this world? Seriously. Oh. Crestfallen dude's gone off. It's always good to check back here every once in a while, because maybe Crestfallen dude just moved. Hmm. Oh, well, whatever. Wait. No, that's no one. Yeah, the Crestfallen guy's no longer on that staircase. I wonder if they've gone hollow and gone outside, as Crestfallen warriors tend to do. What? How do I get out of here? Oh, right, I gotta go the other way. Okay, but yeah, so... Not really sure what else there is, other than just going back, continuing through that catacomb. But yeah, oh yeah, I wanted to try Lightning Spear, because now I have Lightning Spear. And it's like... I actually have a lightning spear. Alright, well, the old master's not gonna be there. I didn't know if. Maybe. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Doesn't look like we're seeing the Crestfallen Warrior over here at all. So that's. that's that, I guess. I guess we'll be the first ones to try a lightning spear. No, what? Oh, I can't even. No, you won't. You will not be the first victims of a lightning spear. Is there anyone I can hit with a lightning spear around here? I mean, there's a zombie dog, but I don't really want to hit the zombie dog with that right now. Alright, whatever. Let's just go briefly back here for a brief second to the catacombs of Karthus. See, so we, we can't find an enemy to attack with this. 
just to see what happens. Because I want to know how much damage it does. I want to know... Did my spell buff increase, come to think of it? Yes, it did. So Faith does scale the spell buff. Alright, well, we're going a bit more forward than I'd like to. But hey, lightning... What? No. Rats. All right, then. Not my first choice for such a target. More Titanite shards. Ah, you're my first choice for such a target. Ow. That needs some work. Ow. Ah, oh, whatever. 200 souls is not a big deal. Okay, well, Lightning Spear... Still kind of neat, but I probably need a lot more faith or an upgraded chime for it to be really useful. So, I'll go do that, because I had the Titanite to do it with. So, anyway, see you guys next episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And we have Lightning Spear, for what it's worth. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, I don't have the best equipment for using it yet. Yet. Just you wait. I'll get it. Although, I guess the next thing now is getting the strength and dexterity to use the Great Sword of Artorias. But I need that anyway, so that'll work. Anyway, till then, see ya.